What's up? Music with Monalee. I am Monalee. Welcome back to my channel. I was hesitant to do this video at this moment, not for any reason except that I thought I was going to throw up. Um, that's weird. Huh. Maybe it's the light. It looks like the frame has nothing in it. Oh, there it is. What? magic. Sorry. Okay. Easily entertained. Yeah. I thought I was going to throw up. Um, still feel it a little bit, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, I'm trying this thing. My mom sent me this remedy that this woman like swear, swore by, sweared by when she was pregnant. Um, and had really, really bad, what do they call it? HG, which is apparently what I have hyper something or other, which is where you don't just have morning sickness, but you have extreme nausea and sickness all day, every day. So, um, my mom had it with my brothers too. So when they were in utero, cause they're identical twins and I curse them because they're the only twins in my family and there's no twins in my husband's family. So I curse them for this curse upon me. No, I'm just kidding. It's a blessing. I'm happy, but not at the moment when I feel like I'm going to puke all the time. Anyway, the remedy is that you take some, um, you buy like the peaches, the canned peaches and heavy syrup. And you take a tablespoon of the heavy, just the heavy syrup every like 15 minutes. I'm thinking it just keeps your glucose, like your blood sugar levels up. Cause if your sugar levels drop, like I have to eat every second, like literally I'm eating constantly, I'm going to be 800 pounds. Then you guys can make fun of me and bully me. Yeah. Because uh, just kidding. Because, um, if I don't eat all the time, if I even like my stomach has a little bit of emptiness, I'm going to throw up. Like I feel sick. Oh, Hey, look at the shirt. My mom got me. Twin, twin mama. It's got the little thing. My belly is not really there yet. Don't, I was trying to look like I got dressed and then I just showed you my Christmas pajama pants. <laughs> I got dressed from the waist up. I, I will be putting regular pants on. Eh, maybe. Okay. So this was recommended to me, uh, suggested to me, insisted upon me that I react to Angelina Jordan singing Unchained Melody live. And it's at a tribute. It's in a different language. So I'm not going to know what's going on. And that's okay because some people say like, oh, how could you not like that song? It was a tribute to blah, blah, blah. Okay. I mean, I get if something has meaning behind it and that's great, but I am just talking about the song and the singer. I'm not going to give it a 10 because it's a tribute. We all know from the uh, Elton John candle in the wind, England's rose fiasco <laughs> goodbye england's rose kind of sounds like goodbye norma jean not kind of everybody knows it was the same song and oh he got a lot of crap for that so anyway point being if it is a tribute i am going yes you can have those but there's some open ones on the side table next to the couch oh okay mama okay go ahead they want some biscoff cookies <laughs> Uh, mother, <laughs> no, they're great. They're sweet girls. I love them very much. And okay. So, um, it's in a different language. So I don't really know who the tribute's for. I think there's gonna, probably going to be some pictures of somebody. So I have no idea. Um, but I am very picky about this song. I'm just letting you know that right away. This song, uh, to me is a fabulous song. It's been, it's been, um, covered so many times. It's one of the ones and I mentioned this in another video. It's one of the ones I sang at a karaoke contest that I won. <laughs> when I made it to finals, I sang Unchained Melody and I won with that one. Granted, it was at a sketchy bar on Southside Savannah. So take it for what you will. <laughs> but I was 19. So, you know, I wasn't drinking or anything. So I think, well, everybody else was. So maybe that helped the sound. <laughs> Anyway, point being, I really, I, this is a very, very, people think it's not a difficult song to sing, but it is. And I know everyone right now watching is saying, can you shut up and just get to the song? Yes, I can. All right, here we go. And there are many here tonight that want to honor this cause. One of them is international star Angelina Jordan. She has come all the way from Los Angeles.
Did not think I would tear up in that. Maybe it's pregnancy. I don't know. But that was fantastic. Um, I absolutely loved it. I thought... <laughs> um, I uh, First of all, can I just say that I, <laughs> I had one more. That I absolutely loved her dress. I thought that was a phenomenal choice. It was classy, classic. And also her voice, I like how she she kept it traditional, the song, but she gave it that jazzy, old school jazzy feel that she does. And then with the hmm kind of humming she did throughout, kind of reminded me of a like Mariah Carey diva sound, which I thought was cool. Um, the very, very beginning when she first comes in, just that first like two or three notes were not my favorite. And then ending on that super high note was not my favorite, but that's just my preference. I didn't say she was off key or anything. I just don't like ending songs on super high notes. It's just not, just something I don't like. I don't know, my ears don't like it or something. But that was fantastic. That was probably one of the best Angelina's um, performances I've seen. And then with the, the, the instruments in the background, and I thought she sang it with a lot of passion. And she sang it not over the top, but not stale. I'm going to give it a 9.5. Um, 
And only because of the very, very end and the very, very beginning were not my favorite. Again, she wasn't off key. She sang it beautifully, just not my favorite. And so that's why I'm going to give it a 9.5. But whoever, oh, I you saw, like, I was tearing up. And I haven't done that in a long time to a song, so, or to a performance. So that, wow. Whoever recommended that to me requested that I do that one. It's in one of my comments in my other videos. Thank you. Um, oh, I want to go back and let's do it again. <laughs> She looked really, really pretty. And I really liked the dress. Like I said before, I think it just all went together very, very well. And it was a great cover tribute, whatever. Um, so yeah, and I'll be back with another video very soon. I think I might do, um, I wanna find an unknown maybe. Hmm? If you know of an unknown person that I have not reacted to, that would be cool. Put it in the comments. Um, I thought maybe I'd do another warning because they have a lot of live performances I'd like to check out. And then, of course, Courtney's coming up. Grace. It'll have to be a live performance because even those are copyrighted. Um, I guess YouTube just picks up the song and their algorithm and copyrights it. But I just want to make sure it doesn't get blocked. I don't really care if it's copyrighted. You know, it is what it is. But if it gets blocked, then like, what's the point? Nobody can see it. So I'm going to try to do a Grace, another live performance from her. Plus, I like them. I think she performs pretty well. Completely opposite of how Angelina is. Angelina performs very classy and classic and diva. And Grace is more free spirit, right? Nothing wrong with it. Just different. Okay. So my tip jars down below. I've really appreciated it. It's helped me get this new laptop so I can make videos. Um, I'm still learning this laptop because it's different from a Mac. It's like fourth of the price of a Mac, which is nice. I think Macs can be overrated. Um, I guess it depends on what you use them for. But this Acer is um, nice. I, I like it. And it does the job. And I like this Clip Champ. Now I'm using that instead of iMovie. So anyway, what are you doing, Charlotte? I'm trying to get the puppy in the video. That might be hard to do. Here, let me just turn this sideways a little bit. Okay. Please excuse my office. It's very, very messy. But there is the new puppy. Oh, and I knocked something off my desk. Her name is Daisy. Okay. So <laughs> thank you for watching and I will be back very soon. Music with Monolith. Cheers.